Growers know that when grain comes in out of the paddock, there's quite a big variation in both moisture content and grain temperature. So what we're looking for is to get uniformity. Once we put that grain in bulk in the silo, uh, it just stores so much better if it is in a uniform condition. What else can we gain from aeration cooling? Well naturally we can actually drop the temperature of that grain, it's coming in at in for wheat, barley, oats, it's coming in at say 30 or plus degrees and if we can drop that about 10 degrees Celsius then that has tremendous benefits for grain quality so in terms of uh, germination, vigour, um, flower quality, oil quality um, and also even colour for pulses so chickpeas and mung beans so a lot of benefits there by dropping the temperature in terms of grain quality the other thing we gain with dropping that temperature is we make life more difficult, if you like, for the grain storage pests. And not only can we, if we get it to around about the 20 degrees Celsius, for some of our pests we actually stop them breeding. And others will slow the life cycle right down. So there's a number of real benefits to dropping that grain temperature. Fan size, about a half horsepower or 0.4 of a kilowatt. The design, we're trying to get about two to three litres of air per second per tonne. So in this case we've got a 100 tonne capacity silo. This fan we're looking for around about 200 to 300 litres of air per second. This will give us the air change rates we need. What else is involved in the equipment? The ducting inside the silo. One of the things to consider here is not only the style, is it round or tent shaped? In the case of say a flat bottom silo it might be built into the floor. Please consider the hygiene, very important. When that silo is empty um, it's really important that you are able to actually get all that residual grain away from the ducting. It's one of the most common traps I guess for residual grain and where the storage pests can stay and, and carry over for the next season. The final thing in the equipment, venting. Um, it's important that if, if we actually don't do a good job with our venting we can actually restrict the performance of our fans. So a common uh, small silo if you like venting system is just like a Chinaman's hat with some mesh around the base of it and that allows us to keep the weather out of the top of the silo but allow the full flow of air from that fan out, outside the silo. Through the summer storage period, so November through to say March, if we aim for about 20 degrees Celsius, that's a good achievable target with aeration cooling. Um, how do we know we've actually achieved that target? Down here we've got a couple of temperature probes. Grain temperature probes that can be probed into the grain. Simply push those into the grain about a metre, leave for three or four minutes, and read off the grain temperature and that can be probed in a number of places. In winter time uh, the target is obviously much lower, we should be aiming for under 15 degrees Celsius and that's quite easily achievable. In this case we've got sorghum in these silos and held through into June, July they should be well under 15 degrees and interestingly that will stop all of our storage pests actually breeding and keep that grain in good condition.